suppose you are having a lot of cells where you want to replace a specific value then uh, either you can do it manually or you will do it uh, through uh, a function called substitute in Microsoft Excel so here we are having a couple of file names for example mango.jpg, banana.jpg, aurora.jpg so we are having a couple of uh, these cell values which are having uh, this extra bit of information that we want to get rid of so for example .jpg has to be removed from all of these uh, cells so how will you do that so for that you have to use the substitute function as mentioned earlier so just type equals to and then substitute and uh, press enter if you will just type subs it will just auto complete that and then reference to the cell where you want to replace that value what is that value that you are looking for that is should be enclosed within uh, inverted commas so it is dot uh, jpg and then inverted comma closes and then comma and then what is that value that you want to replace it with so here the value is uh, nothing we don't want anything to be replaced um, by dot jpg so we just uh, have blank inverted commas and then just uh, close the bracket and then press enter and as you can see we have uh, that uh, element dot jpg removed now if you just uh, scroll it down or pull it down you will see that dot jpg is removed from all of the uh, cells so this is exactly what we wanted but here one thing uh, you can notice is that let's say we are having dot chip uh, dot png as well so it didn't get removed but we want that to be removed as well so in that case we'll adjust the query a little bit what we will do is we already have the function so either you copy paste it here so if there are two ways right if you will just type substitute and then uh, reference it to the new value and then the value that you want to replace which is uh, dot jpg uh, dot png then comma then blank uh, inverted commas and then the bracket closes and if you will pull it down you will see that dodge dot png is now removed but you are doing it in two steps how will you do that in one step so here what you do is we understand that if we will type substitute bracket closes a1 the result would be this so all you want to do is just use the current uh, function as the value or the input for a new substitute so we are kind of having nested substitute function so type substitute bracket closes the first query the query that we had written earlier and then comma in inverted commas just type dot p and g and then inverted comma closes and then blank inverted commas and then bracket closes so in this case we are having two substitute one inside the other and that would mean that uh, dot png will be removed so this is how you saved one step if there are more instances where let's say you want to even remove dot xcc in that case you can make it nested uh, again further so use the existing as the input for the new substitute uh, query so here we want to remove dot xcc inverted comma closes and then comma blank inverted commas and then you close that bracket and now as you can see the xcc is removed so if you will type xcc over here as well it will be removed but if you will type xcc f only f will remain so this is how you use uh, substitute function in microsoft excel which is to remove specific values from all the cells and replace it with anything that you want so let's say we wanted to replace dot jpg with uh, um, with something like uh, zero zero so you can see that we have zero zero here instead of dot jpg thanks so much for watching this tutorial if you liked it please subscribe to our youtube channel and if you didn't then leave a comment so that we can improve it further do watch these suggested tutorials to learn even more and do let us know what you want to learn on being skilled.